Okay, um, I kind of decided how I'm going to run the channel for the time being, and it's mostly just going to be, um, I'm going to get questions from Instagram or the comments on YouTube, and I'm just going to give my opinion because I don't like presenting my opinion as a definitive one way to do things because it never is, um, and all it is is my experience and my opinion, and you know, if you're tuning into my channel, you probably want to hear that, so you know, it's just me giving my opinion. So. Um, any to me, if you want me to touch on anything, I'm gonna be trying to be more like or less selective about what I touch on. So you know, just leave a comment or shoot me a message, and I'll try to do it. Um, I'm gonna hold myself to not turning so many down, um, just because I'm lazy. Um, and so the one I wanted to touch on briefly today wasn't a question. It's just something I've been noticing a lot, and it's something that's been talked about a lot. It's probably not your first time being exposed to this uh, this kind of talk, but. Um, you know, I think it's just negative talk about your lifts. I think it's really annoying. Um, you know, I'm not really deep into the sports psychology stuff. I'm not into like the ooh positive self talk stuff. Uh, I'm I'm a simple guy. I usually just think you're either strong enough to lift a weight or you're not. And if you're doing the good things in the gym and the good things out of the gym, you're going to get stronger, right? I'm just I don't put that thought into it. There's nothing wrong with that. And I know a lot of people really thrive in that like mindset area, um, but this is something I do think is a little bit annoying. People are just be like, "Oh, I'm a shit bencher." Um, you seem to have accepted that a little bit too much. You should definitely pr try being a little bit less negative, um, you know, because the goal is to get overcome that. People have overcome it. Why can't you, right? So if you just come to terms with the fact that being bad at bench is something innate to you, it's probably going to stay that way. Um, also, chances are, if you're just like, I'm bad at this lift, I bet you have bad technique. I know very few people with pristine technique on a lift who try hard and are bad at that lift. Uh, most of the people I know who are bad benchers can't keep their back tight. Most of the people, and it has nothing to do with their arms being long or whatever. Uh, most of the people I know who are bad squatters, right? just are bad at like it's you're not good at it it's not the fact that you're innately cursed or something it's you are unskilled at the motion and you can get more skilled right so instead of saying oh i'm a bad bencher just just fucking say oh that's the one i have the most work to do on i'm going to be good at it that's just the one i'm furthest from right and it's just like i can clearly see people really internalizing they've got some sort of stupid curse on a lift right like Realistically, my deadlift should be my hardest lift, right? Because my arms are super stubby and my torso is super long. It's not a favorable build, but that's always gone up when I bother to train it hard, right? The most hardest lift for me has always been my squat. And I've never said, I'm a bad squatter. Woe is me. I've never been discouraged by failing my maxes over and over. Why? Because there's a bunch of stuff I haven't tried yet, right? So, like, why would I be discouraged if I can think of a thousand things in my program I haven't tried? It makes no sense. I just haven't tried the right thing. Um, so it's the same thing if you're like really frustrated to lift. Realistically, tell me, have you tried literally everything? Because I can tell you you haven't, right? Um, I don't know. This is a little bit of a, a little bit of a rant, I guess, at this point. But I just think people are holding themselves back by just deciding they're innately bad at something instead of thinking about it and contextualizing like, okay, I'm bad at this because, you know, my build isn't favorable, but I'm also unskilled at it. Gaining skill is perfectly doable. You just have to put in the focus. And the problem is when you say I'm bad at something, you start taking it less seriously, not more seriously as you should. You should always have your uh, your worst lift be your highest priority, not some back burner half-ass thing because you think you're just always going to be bad at it. If anything, it should be the reverse. You should be putting the most thought into your technique. You should be getting the most hyped up for those days. You should be getting the most prepared for those days. And you should really be analyzing your technique and having fun with the process. And like the most important thing you can do is learn to like the lift. And if you always talk about how much you fucking hate a lift, you're never going to learn to like it and you're never going to be good at it.